I am excited to film again. Hello you lovely lot, I'm Let's Season and welcome back to my channel. Hi there! Guys, can you believe this is the first time that I am filming in 2018? How insane is that? I pre-recorded the other stuff because I knew I wasn't going to be able to film that much over the Christmas period, so I'm so glad I did that. I didn't want you guys to be without. So this is the first time. I'm super excited to get back into it. I feel like I've not sat here and spoken to you for so long. But as in previous years, on all the years that I've been on YouTube, it's quite a lot because I'm getting old. I have done my top five albums from the previous year. So today we're going to do my top five of 2017 and just a general chit chat to catch up because I feel like I miss you and I need to vent and you know how much I love doing that. We've got a new backdrop. What do you think? The metallicness? Kind of loving it. Not going to lie. It looks really good. But obviously my opinions don't count. So what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below if you like this new backdrop. The other one was getting tatty. So I thought let's switch it up a little. So let's get into my top five albums to start with because I feel like 2017 was a good year for music. We had some pretty good stuff come out. So without further ado, at my number five is Pink's Beautiful Trauma. This album loved it so friggin' much. Like she come back, she took over again, love her voice, love her presence. So, you know, this album was everything. Beautiful Trauma is my favorite track on the album. I think I've listened to that like billions of times. So that definitely had to be on my top five. My number four is the one and only Katy Perry with Witness. This album is her experimental album and I am loving it. Like Witness has to be a single. I'm praying, I'm praying to whoever is up there that this is a single because it just really is a standout for me on this album. I love the vision that she has. I love the creativity behind it. I just think it's a great album. My number three is Dua Lipa's self-titled album. This bitch is here to slay. I am so excited for what she's got coming up. This album is everything. Like it took a while to get there and be released and I'm so glad that it has been released and I feel like 2018 is going to solidify her as a superstar. That pop dancey vibe with the fierce lyrics, I think that's what the music industry is missing right now and Dua Lipa is definitely bringing that back. So this had to be my number three. Number two is of course Kelly Clarkson with Meaning of Life and I love this album so much. She's done so well. It really shows her vocal skills. You can tell that she's happy with this album. You can tell that she's put her all into this. And who can deny Kelly's vocal skills? They are insane. So this had to be my number two because I love it so much. Now, before I tell you my number one album, let me tell you some honourable mentions. You know, some ones that if I was doing a top ten, they would have easily slotted in. But as I'm doing a top five, I had to pick my most favourite. So these are the ones that I absolutely adore, even though they didn't make it into my top five. We have Demi Lovato, Tell Me You Love Me. Great album, great vocalist, incredible album for 2017. Taylor Swift, Reputation. I couldn't go through 2017's top albums without mentioning the one and only Taylor Swift. Grabbing headlines left, right and centre, releasing those promo singles and those music videos are to die for. She is killing it. Evanescence Synthesis. If you guys have been a watcher of my channel for a while, you know that I grew up being a huge Evanescence fan. I absolutely adore them. Amy Lee is just singer of my life. I love her so much. And this album is like an orchestra remake of their older songs, you know, their older hits. It was like such a shock because I didn't think I was going to like it. I was like, why tamper with something that's already perfect? And they just made it better. It is so good. And the additional tracks on there are incredible. So if you haven't listened to it, highly recommend it. I've got some album reviews coming out. So uh, make sure you stick around for those. And finally, I couldn't go through 2017 without mentioning Kesha's Rainbow. Now this album was everything. I was so glad she came back. She came back with a new vibe, a new lease of life, and her vocal skills, that praying where she hits that high note, hallelujah chorus, incredible, love her so much. This album is great. So I guess that leaves us for our number one album, and my number one is Paramore After Laughter. Love this band so much. I love their like poppy, kind of punky rock vibe, and Hayley Williams, her vocals are just on point. I got to see them in 2017. It really did blow my mind. I love every song on that album apart from No Friend, but we won't go into that right now. It is such a good album, such an upbeat vibe with so many topics that they hit in such an unusual way. So that definitely made my 2017. 
so there you go, there is my top five. I think the music that came out in 2017 was pretty impressive. So I'm super, super hopeful for 2018. The artists that I'm on the lookout for in 2018 are Ray and Anne Marie. I think their songs that they've released in 2017 are incredible. So I'm hoping for an album from both of them and you know, more songs, I'm so excited. So that's my lookout, fingers crossed. And hopefully there's just some new and inspiring people coming out. Cause I do feel like we've kind of hit a plateau with music right now. There's nothing new and reinventing the wheel. So I'm hoping that 2018 is going to change that. So there's my top five, but I want to know what your top five is in the comments below. So make sure you leave me five or at least one of your favorite music from 2017, whether that's a single or whether it's an album, just let me know down there. I would love to get your views on what your favorite music was. But apart from that, how was your Christmas? How was your new year? I'd love to know down there. I had a great one, I spent it with my family. It was so nice and it was so chilled. Did you treat yourself to anything in the Boxing Day sales? I bought this new desk which I'm super, super pleased about because it's not so high. Who knew that there were two different types of desks? You have like a desk desk, like one that you put a computer on and a writer's desk. My other one was a writer's desk. No wonder I was getting like wrist ache from typing because I was kind of like up here typing and I should be down here. Who knew? So I brought this in the Boxing Day sale. So super, super pleased with that. I also got an Echo Plus from my parents which had to take pride in place on my desk. I also got this salt lamp from one of my friends over here and uh, look what I can do. Alexa, turn on salt lamp. Okay. Thanks, hon. Like, how cool is that? I'm literally living. I, I love it so much. Like, my room is kind of turning into a smart room now. Most of the things are linked to Alexa, so... Shouldn't hear me. Thanks, bitch. What did you guys get for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about that. And I've got tons of videos coming for you. Like, different ones that I haven't done. I don't want to just do reaction videos. I know you guys love them. And I love doing them. But I don't want to just do them. Like, I feel like this channel's a bit more than just reactions. So, um, yeah. I've got lots of exciting stuff coming for you. So, please stick around. And I think we'll end this video here. Because otherwise I could ramble for ages. So, there you go. There's my top five. A little bit about my Christmas. Want to know what you got for Christmas? Want to know some of your favourite music? So, let me know down there. As with all my videos, please make sure you give me a massive thumbs up. And click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Are you watching? Who knows?